This is Sharon. She's a seventh grader from one of the 36 middle schools in Philadelphia. Sharon is an engaged, enthusiastic learner who had an opportunity to take part in an eClose project at her school. She loves science, but the numbers are stacked up against her. In the U.S., the majority of faculty-level researchers are white, while in cities like Philly, students are predominantly from minority backgrounds. Nationally, 77% of college students switch out of STEM majors, and less than 6% of inner-city students complete their STEM degrees. eClose has developed a series of iterative, comprehensive research training programs whereby participants identify dietary interventions to prevent and treat the diseases that impact their communities, prompting these students to further pursue additional STEM education. The entry point is the classroom, where eClose programs align with school curricula. Participants continue through an advancing series of programs, gaining graduate level research skills often before graduating from high school. 72% of our graduates go on to conduct research in college, and 100% of eClose inner city students complete their undergraduate STEM degrees on time. Our current business model consists of three streams of revenue. Tuition for programs is paid by sponsoring schools and institutions interested in engaging young scientists and generates 65% of our total revenue. Currently, grants represent 11% of our revenue, and in April of 2022, eClose will be eligible for multi-year federal grants to support sustainability. This year, 24% of our revenue was provided by generous donors. This supported overhead costs and the development of new programming. These streams allow us to project and earn tuition revenue growth from 3% to about 16% over four years. Our greatest challenge is the number of empty seats in programs that follow the classroom projects. eClose has secured underwritten tuition dollars from generous sponsors and organizations, but the sponsored capacity and the desire to give exceeds our participant enrollment. About 20% of the underwritten seats were unfilled because we don't have participants in our early classroom projects, and eClose had over 23,000 in unused dollars. This year, we generated $142,000 in total revenue with 3% in earned revenue. eClose is in demand by foundations, universities, and workforce organizations for the spring season, and we positioned to underwrite tuition dollars for our 2022 programs. eClose is asking for $67,000 to increase entry into the STEM pipeline through our program. 22% will go towards expanding our marketing effort through current higher education partners and science teacher associations, enabling us to cultivate advanced sponsored programs and continue to recruit funded school districts to generate earned revenue. 8% will expand participation by providing grant writing services to show Philly science teachers how to sustain classroom programs that will exponentially increase impact for their students while decreasing costs and increasing revenue. 70% will go to reducing costs for participants by half, ensuring equitable access and participation by lowering the barrier of entry for underfunded schools like Philly. eClose will be able to replace disposable classroom materials with permanent labs in Philly schools and will enable us to recruit more sponsors, especially if we engage Philly, where the great majority of the students are underrepresented in STEM. Philanthropic Award money would put eClose on the path to expanding to more than 30 37,000 classroom participants over three years, successfully increasing our participant pool for the underwritten seats in more advanced biomedical programs. Thank you.